Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a hair tutorial for you guys. I'm going to show you guys how I do a one product wash and go using the Do Big Papa Defining Gel. Now I found this gel in TJ Maxx on clearance for $8 a few weeks ago and it took me a minute to get to it but I finally tried it last week and OMG my hair came out so good that I just had to share it with you guys. Now ever since I did the Big Chop almost 10 years ago I usually style my hair using a variation of the lock method which is leave-in then oil, then cream, but I usually do the log method, which is applying the leave-in followed by an oil and a gel. I use gel instead of a cream to give my hair more curl, but I found that those products were a little too heavy on my hair. So for the last couple of years, I've actually been using a mousse and a gel, and I always thought that I needed more than one product to hold my curls, but I decided, you know what, let me just try this gel because I heard good things about it. And I said I'm going to try it by itself so I can experience it at its full capacity. So I decided to do a wash and go with the gel by itself. And like I said, it came out so good. Before I talk about the results and how my hair lasts and whatnot, let's go ahead and get to this tutorial. So I'm going to go ahead and take this towel off and separate my hair so that I can start styling it. And I just finished lining up my hair. I actually took the sides down for the summer because my hair was getting a little long and overwhelming. So I have a fresh taper cut. That's what it looks like. Like the sides in the back is short and the top is still pretty long. It's gonna be looking real funky and fresh this summer. And I washed my hair and conditioned it and it's ready to style. So first I'm going to part my hair into sections to make it easier to style it. So I'm finished sectioning off my hair and I'm going to go ahead and spray the sides with some water to make sure it's soaking wet because I always style my hair soaking wet. That keeps the products from clumping and flaking and I'm able to define my curls better. And I'm going to apply that big papa gel to, whew, that's a lot of water, <laughs> to my sides and my back. And let me just show you guys the consistency of the gel so you can see what it looks like. And it's really gooey, but it's not thick. But I'm just going to take some and put it in the palm of my hand. And I'm going to rub it through the sides and the back of my hair and get a little bit more in the back. And now to style the shorter parts of my hair, the sides and the back, I'm going to use this red premium. It's not really foam. It's more of like a silicone. It's like kind of hard. It's not like those typical soft sponges you use. I found this in the closet. This is my son's. I usually grab it when my hair is short on the sides, but I'm going to use that to style the perimeter of my hair since it's super short. And I'm just going to go in and do the back. I should be getting some good definition. Let me actually get my mirror and check and see so I can see what y'all see. All right, yeah, there we go. Let me get the other side. That gave me some definition where it's real short so I don't have to go in with my comb because that's going to take all day long. So now what I'm going to do is this shorter area. Before I get to the longer parts of the top, I'm going to put some of the gel from root to tip. And I'm going to use a rat tail comb just to comb the gel through and style the shorter areas. 
to give it some definition. And I'm going to do that to this whole top portion of the shorter area because it's too long to define with that sponge. But I actually can go in with my three row comb, but I find the rat tail comb a little better for definition when the hair is shorter like this. So I prefer to go in with the rat tail comb for the shorter areas. And I'll get a little closer so you guys can see what I'm doing. Real simple. I'm just running my hair through the comb to separate and define my coils. perimeter y'all and I'm just gonna go in with my little Dollar Tree edge brush and brush my edges a little bit my temple areas are getting very thin they've always been like that it's like hereditary with all the women on my mom's side of the family but I've noticed ever since I've turned 40 it's been getting worse so I style my edges strategically and try not to put too much stress on them so that they don't recede further. But let me just show y'all already how juicy my coils are. Look how juicy my hair is. Y'all see that? All right, so we gonna get ready, style the next section. So I'm gonna remove the clip and I'm going to thoroughly wet my hair because already it's drying up and I'm going to detangle that section. And now I'm going to take a generous amount of that big papa gel and spread it on my hair from the roots to the ends. And I'm going to slightly rake it through. I have one of these press on nails, so it's making it a little easier for me. Let me get this section. This is another shorter section. So what I'm going to do now is part my hair right here so I can hit this shorter section before I get the longer section. Let me clip that back. And let's go ahead and separate this section into two. And I'm going to go in with my three-row comb. This is my go-to tool defining my oils and I'm going to hit that section from roots to ends and define my curls and let's get that next section let's go in a little closer so you guys can see my curls are Nice and defined. Now let's hit this longer section. Now one thing about this gel, it's extremely moisturizing. Like you see how shiny my hair is and then look how defined my curls are without even doing anything to them. And the description for this Big Papa Gel says, defines even the tightest curls while fighting frizz and humidity. No need for layering. Big Papa's built-in conditioners soften hair for touchable curls with no crunch or flaking. And I definitely find that to be true. It says it has abasu seed oil and keratin in it. And the direction says to apply to freshly washed wet hair in sections, raking from root to ends, air dry, hood dry, or diffuse. Allow hair to dry completely before fluffing and separating as desired. I probably should have told y'all all of that before I started my hair, but I just wanted to give y'all a description so you can understand how I'm styling my hair. But you could just see how moisturized my hair looks. Like, look at it. Compare. Let me just take out the other section real quick. Like, look at the difference. 
All right, so let me just wrap that back up and let's get to styling this section. So I'm going to part it in the front. So I'm going to run the comb, my three row comb through it to define it. And then I'm going to use my fingers to shingle and separate that section out some so I can get the clumping that I want. Let's just separate those right there as well because it leads into that section. It's two different lengths. Okay, well, you see how juicy those curls are? Look at that bounce back. Juicy. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing to style this whole section. I'm going to part my hair with the rat tail comb and hold it back. And then I'm going to use my three roll comb to define my curls. I'm just gonna add a little bit more of that gel to my ends. at that y'all look how juicy those curls are and sometimes I like to go through and use my fingers to clump my curls the way I want to because although the three row comb defines my curls sometimes I want them in larger clump sections so I'll go through and do that manually but I'm not fitting to sit here and do that with my whole head today because your sis got things to do. But let me finish styling this section. this first section and just look how juicy those curls are y'all like my hair is so juicy I know I keep saying juicy but they are so juicy and moist and defined like my coils are popping y'all like popping and they feel just as good as they look like they feel so juicy and it's not sticky it's lightly tacky but not really sticky, but it feels perfect. So let's go ahead and style that next section.
you can see where my edges are thin in the temple area. Like that whole area of my hair is thinner, so I always go in to manipulate that section so that it can lay how I want it to. If not, it gets like frizzy or it leaves gaps that looks like bald spots and I'm not fitting to be walking around looking like I got bald spots in my head. <laughs> Even if I really do. You know, you have to camouflage that. And just look at that definition on this section that I ain't even do nothing to. You see how nice and coily my hair is? The only difference between the section that I've styled already and the section that I didn't is that these curls are separated and clumped together. And these are not separated, so you can't really see the definition. That's why I go through my hair with the three-row comb to define my coils. You can't use any products or tools to define coils that you don't have. If your hair don't coil you up, it's just not going to coil you up. A comb or products is not going to make it do that. The tools you use and the products you use define your natural curl pattern. So this is my natural curl pattern. I'm just enhancing it by separating my curls and clumping them together in little sections so that you can actually see the definition. If I didn't do this and I just let my hair dry up without separating my curls, it'll just look dry and tangled. You see some definition, but not like this. And my hair wouldn't last as long. I'd have to wash it every couple of days because after a few days, it would just become a tangled, matted mess. So this is why I go through my hair with a comb when I'm doing a wash and go, and especially the three-row comb, because I feel like it's the best tool to do that. And it works for my hair. It's very short, as well as once my hair gets longer. And I'm finished the front of my hair, y'all. I just have two more little sections left. And look at the difference. This is my hair with just water and no products added. And then that's my hair with the big papa gel. Let's go ahead and add a generous amount to this section. And rake it through. And I'm going to style it just like I styled the rest of my hair. And this section of my hair, like in the crown area, is a little kinkier. So I've been needing a little more product to style it. separating those coils so they can lay how I want to where the lengths blend so my hair is extremely tapered since I took the sides down so it goes from short to long in a drastic change and I just want that transition to be seamless so the coils in that area needs a little assistance to lay the way I want them to lay. I'm using the shingling method to help define this last section because it's like really kinky in that area and my curls will frizz up if I don't give them a little assistance in laying how I want them to lay. And whoo, y'all, we got one more section to go, just this last section. And thank goodness because my arms are tired. Man, ooh, 
That's looking cute. Yeah. All right, let me stop playing and finish up. Y'all see them coils pop? Y'all see how juicy they are? Oh, yes, it is so juicy. So juicy. Now I'm about to hit my hair with the diffuser, but a few things before I do that. Let's talk about how long the style lasts when you do a one product wash and go using this, the do, Big Papa Gel. So when I styled my hair last time, my hair stayed a week. It actually could have gone longer, but I was sleeping on my hair all wow and not really taking care of it. So it didn't last as long as it could. But the biggest thing I noticed is how moisturized my hair stayed the whole time until the next wash day. My usual gel that I use is the Eco Style Olive Oil Gel. And in the past, it didn't dry my hair out. I don't know if they've changed the formula or my hair is just changing because I'm getting older, but I'm finding that my hair gets really dry and itchy and like tangled and ashy looking by the time my next wash day comes around. And I usually wash my hair every 10 to 14 days, sometimes every week, depending on if my scalp is itchy, which it has been getting itchy more. I do have a thyroid disorder. I have Hashimoto's thyroiditis. And although my thyroid still functions, I do have symptoms. That was the biggest reason why I ended up doing a big chop is because like I was having issues with the crown of my head itching until I was scratch bald spots. But anyway, let me get back on point. The Eco Style Gel has been drying my hair out. So I was hearing that this gel was very moisturizing and I see that it does have added conditioners. So I thought that maybe this gel wouldn't dry my hair out as much and that is the case. I love the fact that it can be used by itself. You see that I didn't use any other products, just that one gel and it gave me so much definition. Another difference between the Big Papa Gel and the Eco Styler Gel is the whole. Eco Styler Gel makes my hair kind of crisp, like puts a cast on the hair, but that crisp also can flake within time depending on what products or what leave-in I use under the gel. My hair can get flaky and you get flakes all over the place so my hair will start looking white and I'll have to wash it before I want it to wash it. But with the Big Papa Gel, I have absolutely no flaking at all. No flaking, no white cast, and my hair gets a soft hole. Like it'll be slightly crisp, but not as crispy as it gets with the Eco Style Gel, but the style still holds. My coils stay intact until it's time to wash my hair, and my hair stays juicy. After like the days go on, it'll get a little less shiny, but come wash day, my hair still looks very moisturized, and it still has the hold that I'm looking for, so that's a win in my book. The other, the new products I tried was the Moose Def 
and the pop and lock gel, which I usually use together, and my hair loves that combination as well. I was thinking of maybe trying a big pop of gel with the mousse def. I don't know. Let me know if y'all want to see any other product combos with the dew gel. Maybe the big papa mixed with mousse def or the big papa mixed with the pop and lock gel. I don't know. Y'all let me know. But I'm loving this on its own. And definitely for the summer, it's like a light hole and it's juicy and I don't need anything else. So let me go get my diffuser so we can diffuse my hair and finish up this style real quick. That's it, y'all. My hair is about 50% dry. I'm going to let it air dry overnight and let it dry the rest of the way. But that's it. The kind of coils popping. Y'all let me know if y'all have any questions. I'm going to link everything I use in the description box, including that big pop of gel, <laughs> of course, because that is the main event <laughs> but yes i'll link everything in the description box you guys let me know if you have any questions make sure y'all hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any more of my videos because y'all be coming to see my videos i don't know what be going on with the algorithm but make sure you come back hit the subscribe button turn on your notifications and i will see you guys next time